Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I wanted to work in my trashy junk journal. This junk journal I've done a flip through of, and yeah, I just want to kind of play with it and have fun today. So I thought I would do a, I guess it's, it's a junk journal time video with you. So yeah, so today I'm going to kind of play around and see what I can do. A lot of this first part, I believe, I've kind of stuck things down, but I haven't really touched this second signature here. So I thought I would play today and show you my thinking process and... Yeah, <laughs> anyways, I hope it's not too long. Today I bought a... For the first time I bought this coffee. It says, Otona uh, nobita. I think that means the like it's more for adults. Um, sometimes I find these a little too sweet, and this one is kind of sweet. It's a little too sweet for me, but I thought it would be a nice treat. So let's get right into it. I'm, I have a couple of things here that I wanted to add. I really like this beautiful packaging. Uh, I think I want to maybe stick that in here. It's so pretty, but I still kind of want to leave this like paper feel. Like, I don't want to, if I stick it down on a piece of paper then I can't feel it. So maybe I'll just kind of washi tape it down somewhere. I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll leave that at the end. I have this box of cookies that I just totally ran through like I ate, ate in, in a couple days but it's the Honolulu cookie from my decorated mess and it was so cute it has these like velcro spots but I don't I don't know if I'm able to maybe I'll cut it out and then I could still use it somehow I'm not sure and then I have these stickers and some photos wait for the airplane to fly by. This was taken several weeks back uh, when the sakura flowers were out. It was such a nice day. This is just from a magazine, I think. A pamphlet, maybe. And I wanted to make this into a pocket. Maybe I'll do that. Uh, let's see. I'm really glad that the weather kind of cooled down a bit. It was kind of hot and then I was expecting, oh, it's going to be like this for the rest of the summer, but it cooled down a bit and I think it's around 22 degrees. It's like perfect weather. It's cloudy, but it's, it's not bad. I'll take cloudy over humid any day. <clears throat> There's a pocket there. Maybe I'll cover this part up with this image. It says, live in the moment. I just like it because it's really nice and colorful. as a pop of color. I don't, I've run out of my, uh, what is it called, tape runner. So I have my double-sided tape here just in case. I find that the tape runner is the most, it's the easiest to use. So some of you might know my son started daycare and oh, I'm so happy like it's it gives me a kind of a break as well as like my son I'm sure he <laughs> doesn't want to stay with me the whole time at home I mean we go out every day and I try to rotate parks and things but I'm sure he gets sick of the same parks over and over again and I feel like you know once he's at daycare he has a lot of fun and he, he's made several friends already and you know, he learns a lot more. I feel like he learns a lot more there. I'm just, it's just, it's a really nice change so far, and I'm enjoying it. And he's enjoying it too, so I'm really, really happy. So I want to journal about this. I just don't know where I want to put it. And I was thinking of making this, doing something with this as well, because it's so pretty. I don't know if I should make it into a pocket. Maybe fold that over on itself. You can see the contrast of the white and the black. 
Maybe I can do that here. Move this part down too. And then coming soon we will we will be going strawberry picking, which is really I'm really really excited to do that because I used to go every year when I was back uh, back home in Canada. We used to go strawberry picking every single year, but since moving to Japan, I've never done strawberry picking. I don't know if it's maybe it's because it's far or I'm not sure, but um, so I'm really excited about that. If you have some scrap pieces of paper, you can definitely put something in here. Let's see if I can find. I have a whole bunch of like note paper. So for example, I have <laughs> this to do memo, which I don't. I think I still want to keep, but. Um, you can definitely, maybe I'll stick one in here. Even if you use this notebook or journal to write your to-dos. I'll stick some in there. And I have a couple of... I kind of like, I even though I don't really understand what it says, I just like seeing different languages. I think it's really, really neat. Um, this page I used just to wipe off my paintbrush, but I kind of, oh, is this nice with a peek of color through, but I can't really journal on this side. I could easily stick something like this down here, so maybe that's what I will do. So back to strawberry picking. Do you have strawberry picking available where you live? And how, I'm interested to know, how do you, how do you pay for it? Do you pay for it? by the like the time spent or do you pay for it uh, by the amount of strawberries picked so like by weight I think the place where we're going is it's basically um, it's like all you can eat strawberries so you're it's just a time limit so you go there you have I don't know an hour or half an hour and then it's all you can eat like picking strawberries <laughs> My friend told me that she went once and um, like she ate a whole bunch of strawberries but then on the way on the way home she had a bit of a problem because she had to use the washroom so often <laughs> uh, and because it is kind of far like she had a hard time <laughs> uh, with the washroom issue she couldn't find a washroom close by and then also I think some other places you can uh, like do strawberry picking and you can weigh, like you pay by the weight, um, you get like these baskets and then you pick all your strawberries and you pay at the end, they weigh your basket to see how much you've picked and then you pay and then that's it. That's how we do it back home. Um, these like huge baskets of strawberry and we always share with our neighbors <laughs> and uh, some years my mom would make like jam and things like that. Yes, I'm so excited about the strawberry picking. I hope it goes well. I hope the weather is nice. I'm just sticking some washi tape down here. And what I like about these trashy junk journals is that it's just really, really random. I don't have to worry if it's like pretty or perfect or... And I like the fact that we reuse and we, we repurpose the paper. Um, so something like this, maybe some muddy, you might just kind of throw it away in the garbage. But if you put it into a notebook like this, you can reuse this as a piece of paper. You can definitely journal there. Um, you can stick something, stick something like this on here. And then you can journal about this day. I think that's what I will do. Maybe I'll just leave it because I like th <laughs> I like this uh, seeing the other language there. So maybe I'll just stick some washi tape so that I can easily flip up. And I will use this one here. This one is so cute. These are the bears. My daughter has been sleeping really really late lately. Just maybe like one two in the morning. It's been really tough. <laughs> Yeah, I can journal about this day here. It's 
kind of late. Uh, actually, she's she, her te her bottom two teeth finally kind of came through, which is kind of late. Uh, my son it was uh, several months before her, but I think that's why she's just kind of really in pain and is really miserable. <laughs> uh, let's see here. This one. We went to a paper fair, and this is their uh, to uh, ticket to get into the paper fair. This is neat. This is a tuck spot here. You can stick that in there and just journal about that. This is oh, it's a flip out. It's really neat. Maybe I'll just stick this in here. This one I believe I bought from Daiso, just some double-sided tape. I need to go get a uh, tape runner. Uh, there was a Daiso kind of close by to my house. And they closed it down, I don't know, maybe because there's not a lot of people attending, like going to the store, I'm not too sure. That is a huge bummer. Now I have to get my husband to uh, drive me to Daiso if, if I need anything. Um, okay, so let's see what else. This is so pretty, I want to... washi tape in somewhere. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, I've been sick. I'm finished with my antibiotics, but I'm, I feel like I'm still not 100%. Uh, I, I don't know. I feel like... Uh, Let's see. So nice. <laughs> I really love touching paper, you probably know. I want to add some color here, so so that's what I do. I I just kind of flip through pages, and I feel like oh, if I want to add some color here, I'll add color here. If I want to add some stickers, I'll add stickers or paint or washi tape, or I just kind of flip through the pages and kind of go with the flow. Let's see. Uh, we found a cool park. It's kind of small though, uh, but it's just neat to find like these like little parks in the city. So I want to talk or doc document that. My daughter's sleeping. I find that with baby number two, I'm not giving myself enough time to take photos of baby number two. Like. My son, I have a whole bunch of photos, um, but I have to remember to take photos once in a while of my daughter, too. <laughs> I like that. It says, eat me, I'm sweet. <laughs> then you can see her. She's so... I like her chubby, <laughs> her chubby che cheeks and her chubby arms and legs. So cute. I really miss miss that uh, phase with the, like, the chubbiness. She's taking a nap right now, so hopefully. She's due to wake up any minute now, but hopefully I'll have a, maybe five, ten more minutes and she'll be up. <clears throat> this is perfect. I have to remember to date my entries. Sometimes I forget. So for example, something like this, where there's like a whole bunch of like graphics and lettering, I 
I found myself really um, uncertain on how to use um, this type of paper for my journaling. You can obviously just you know stick photos on top of it and use that. Um, so it acts as like a paper a photo mat. You just do that, and it's you know it's easily usable that way. Or you can stick paper like a blank piece of paper on top like that as well, and then journal on top. I just found that when I was starting with these junk journals or like these trashy type of junk journals, like I wouldn't know how to use this type of paper. Um, but yeah, I just kind of just use it as as you wish. Do what you want to do with it. So for me, I would have just maybe probably done that and then um, ripped out a white piece of paper so that I can journal. I also want to use this. Well, this is part of the journal. I ripped out. My daughter was look. Well, I was looking through the book with my daughter, and she was. She really likes this, like. And so she ripped it out, but I want to put it back in. I think it was in the front here, so I think I'm just going to put it back in with some washi tape. Okay, so back to here. Um, back to this. Uh, my son really likes this character. He's called Shimajiro. And um, it's like a monthly, and it's like a monthly uh, subscription for kids. You get like an educational um, like books, or sometimes they come with little like blocks and like uh, toys. So I want to keep that inside so that I can remember how my son really enjoyed him really cute. I could have um, taken everything out and used the envelope as well for my uh, junk journal in the future. I, I have been dying to use this. I want to use this for my son but I want to create like a junk journal uh, insert and so I could have used the envelope for that. I'm almost finished his insert that I have. I used like a field note size insert for him and I'm almost finished. I have a couple more pages left uh, but I think that's what I will do next is create like a junk journal insert for this notebook but I've been dying to get into it like this leather is so nice. I love the fact like the spine there is like totally different color. It's kind of like a mixture of uh, brown and the camel leather. It's really hard to describe, but really, really liking it. So I've been dying to get into this one. But uh, yeah, if you want me, if you want to see the process of how I create the junk journal insert, just leave a comment down below, and I'll see if I can film that for you. Let's see if there's anything else that I can use. From these, like this is so cute. Uh, this has touched my face. Um, I guess I could cut these ones out, but they're kind of small, so I think I'll leave that. This one I could totally use. This one is really cute. There's that. <clears throat> I think this stuff. Packaging is just, uh, I think this advertisement is just about uh, English, they have like an English version of these educational sets, but yeah, okay, so I think that's it for that junk mail. I can use these two pieces, and I'm just going to stick then where should I stick them? There's that's cute. It has the car and the roads there. I think I'll stick that in here. Okay, sorry. Uh, where was I? <laughs> okay, so let me stick this I can make this into like a pocket if I stick here it's kind of like a two it's a double pocket I guess I 
Maybe I'll stick this in here. And I'll make that into a pocket. Just stick some double-sided tape on the bottom. And then you can just washi tape the sides. And then it'll act as a pocket. Just washi tape the sides here. Let's see, I maybe I'll do something thicker. I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> I really like watching these types of videos where I'm kind of journaling together with the person that I'm watching. I really enjoy watching uh, Liz. I think her icon is, she's changed her icon to Drake though, I think. But if, I think if you search under Liz Drake, it should pop up. So there's a pocket there. Now I can write a journal something about and put it in there. I'm so sorry, I don't know if I where it shut off but it's probably my memory card um i wanted to just i guess show you what i ended up doing i ended up using one of these sticky notes and adding those photos there on this piece of paper and i was explaining how when i first started with ju uh, junk journaling i was scared of these types of paper with a lot of uh, images and uh, color i guess but you can easily just stick a photo down there and it acts as a Phonomat, and then if you have a scrap piece of paper or in my case here a sticky note you can use those up I know some of the sticky notes aren't really good with um, Sticking so you can most definitely use those types of sticky notes in your journal Just add some glue and you can it adds uh, space for you to journal and I did that I Don't know if my camera was recording when I was doing this I just made it into a pocket. I stuck some double-sided tape on the bottom and then closed the two edges there with some washi tape so I can make it into a pocket. Not too sure what else I journaled there. Stuck some washi tape on the bottom there, but yeah, if you enjoy these kind of videos, these, I guess, uh, it's junk journal time videos, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future videos coming up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye bye.